Hey guys, the Bible teaches us how to live free from sin and walk like Jesus. Galatians chapter 5 verses 16, 18, and 25. We see three keys that help us understand the spiritual life that is living in victory over sin and becoming like Jesus. Verse 25, there's this interesting statement. Paul says, if we live by the Spirit, if we live by the Spirit, this is life received on the inside. This is being born again. He who has the Son has life. If you don't have the Spirit, you are none of His. It is the Spirit coming in on the inside, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. The Spirit gives life. And so if we have that conviction, the Spirit bears witness with my spirit that I'm a child of God, that I live by the Spirit, that knowing, that conviction knowing that I've been born from above. He says, if you have that, he says, then walk by the Spirit. He actually says in 16 as well, if you walk by the Spirit, you will not carry out the desires of the flesh, which shows us something. That conviction that you've been born from above, the Spirit lives on the inside. That is the conviction of the presence of Christ, the presence of the Spirit in your life. He says, if you have that, live by that. Walking is a phrase or a, a, a term used in the scriptures for your, your life. Uh, John says, I have, I have no greater joy than to see my children walking in the truth. It has to do with the way you live your life. So Paul is saying you have a conviction that you've been born from above. Live in that conviction of his presence. If you live by the Spirit, walk by the Spirit. You will not gratify the desires of the flesh or take carry out the desires of the flesh. Which shows us to carry out the desires of the flesh is to walk your life by a, a lack of awareness of the presence of the one who is inside of you. So if you live by the Spirit and you don't walk by the Spirit, you will carry out the desires of the flesh. So live by the Spirit. So stay in that living by the Spirit by walking aware of the same presence that you are convicted is in you by being born again. Praise God. And then lastly, he says, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law, which obviously under law means uh, required to keep these commandments. And if you break them, there's a curse upon you. That's been eradicated by a new covenant, which is the covenant of the Spirit. He puts his spirit in our hearts. This is the new covenant. But even more so, the new covenant of the spirit makes us above the law, which means you don't just not envy. You don't just not lie. You don't just not commit adultery. You don't have those things in your heart anymore. In other words, your heart is living above those things. It's such a higher degree it's a it's a newness of life this is being like christ because the spirit of christ on the inside of you is causing these things love and joy not just theologically actually experientially love and joy and peace and patience this comes from being led by the spirit which has to do with um yielding to the internal guidance and impressions of the presence that you are aware of that you've been born again by. So three things the Bible shows us about living in victory over sin and walking like Jesus. If you live by the Spirit, that conviction that you've been born again from above, walk by that conviction. Walk by that awareness of His presence and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. And lastly, yield to all the impressions of that new nature on the inside of you and you will live above the law with love and joy and peace and patience goodness kindness faithfulness gentleness and self-control the bible teaches us how to live in victory over sin and like christ again we're all growing in this we all desire to walk this way uh, so may grace come upon us to live this out and not just know it, but actually to have its reality in our lives by the person of the Spirit having all of our attention, us 
yielding ourselves to him. That's the key. This is the spiritual life. God bless you guys.